what do you think? Yeah? Yay? No? <laughs> I can hear you. Yes, okay, I'll do it. Thanks. Yeah, I, I agree, but that bit needs to come up up there. Yeah, okay. All right, we're sorted. Yeah, stick it down now, yeah? Okay, just maybe, maybe one little bit more here. Yeah, okay. Oh yeah, you're right. I haven't, uh, I haven't done the old uh, grunging up. I'll do that. I'll stick it all down and then I'll come back. Okay, let's look at where we are. Oh, so we've got the cover. Now we have this that opens up like so. Now where's all those pockets hiding? Here we go. There's one there. <laughs> There's one there. I'm going to open up this one. And this comes out. And this. I'm thinking about all these little tuck slots. What I'm going to put in them. You know, all these answers, stick some tags in. And I've got these ones here. Because if you put a tag in, it's kind of close, is it? Um, you've got to get a, a very small tag, obviously, get a small one in, place it close then. But, I want some places where you can write stuff in, you're not going to get much room on a tiny little tag like that, are you? So I'm thinking, let's make some kind of secret book that tucks in there. This is a little bit too wide, by the way, don't just know what that fusty thing. Anyway, I'm going to trim this down and make a concertina type book that can go in there and then there'll be a little tab or something that pulls it out um, and then of course I've got the same option on this page yeah maybe you know just stick the traditional tag in there not white like that oh so I'm just gonna put maybe do this stamping on them so that they blend in but the key thing is I need to do very faint because I want these you know, this is where you do your writing. And I've got some little ones I can pop in into these little slots as well. Okay, I'm going to figure out now how to make some kind of concertina book. It's going to go in there. I'll be back. So it fits in as far as here. Where's my pencil? Book? then fold. Turned out a bit rubbish, so I might just tear that off. So, anything else? Cut this up. So, then it will go in like so and pull out with some string. Okay. So, places to write. Now, don't over decorate it, Lisa. You can put some washi tape on, perhaps. But that's it. And do the edges. Okay, don't overdo it. So, I have I resisted the urge to go too mad. I just put some washi tape on. I glued that on. Tab. I'm going to put some washi tape on the back there to make that look a little less scrappy. Nice bit of map here. Put that carefully. Okay. okay. And then 
on the front here, I just wanted to have a get my new stamps. Let's, uh, let's put this one on, shall I? <coughs> Sneezing in the background. <laughs> okay. I'm just going to test it out first. Well, I've never used it before. So it's like, yeah, that's all right. Isn't it? There or there? There. A little folio, isn't it? And maybe one of these other ones. Good. Where's my book? Gone? And of course, I've messed this up again, haven't I? Because it still won't bend. This is because it's a tag. Honestly, uh, I'll have to put a crease in it and then it'll bend. Yeah. Oh my goodness, I should have just done it with a piece of soft paper instead of card. Never mind. There we go, look at that. Now I'll just get some kind of cord. This will do. find the scrap of paper that matched that so we'll just go with some washi tape it doesn't really matter it kind of goes with it which is the main thing now all we have to do is find the end of the washi tape there it is stick it on Oh, 
this is weird. <laughs> well, very weird some washi tape. It's kind of yeah, odd. <sighs> this little frame uh, that I got from Timu, which I thought actually that looks really cool of you. Stick it on there. Um, because it was quite flimsy, I've just given it a bit of backing with some cardboard. Um, and then I'll, I'll distress that because there will be a little bit showing through. So I might just cover that actually um, with a scrap of, of this paper here as well, just so it all blends in nicely. I like how she's peeking out. It's all her jewellery. I'm getting very attached to this book. I'm going to do something with this. Look, it's pretty. I think I've dyed this with some tea. It's very, yeah, it's got a slight stickiness from the tea, but it's not, I think that's annoying. Um, yeah, there's going to be a lot of this curving through. I love it. It's going to be very hard to put this book on Etsy for sale. Really love it. I did think about putting a frame on on uh, here as well, but I just felt actually it wasn't necessary. This one is the one that really works well. I'm going to stick that on, stick that on there, and then we'll move on to the next bit. Now I'm making the tags to go into the little pockets. Big holes. So started off with that, finished up with these. Just using bits of paper, stamping, and distress ink. One in there. This one is a nice little quote. I just found felt like it, it just looked a bit stark here, so I'll put some stamping over the top to try and tie it all together. That one. Yeah, I'm trying to match the colours up. As you can see here, yeah. trying to match the colours so that it all becomes one cohesive piece. And um, I've just added a little bit more of different colours onto those just so that again they match the colours. Okay, and here, keeping these simple so that there's places for people to to write. Just pop some in there now. And I've got that. And then I'm making the little booklets that will go inside here and in here. So I'll make these ones in a similar way. And you can watch again, it's as usual, very intuitive. I never quite know what I'm doing until I've done it. Um, Put these little scraps probably on here. I lost the lid to this. I don't know where it went. It's crazy, isn't it? Things just disappear. Turn up one day. I need to keep it in there. I don't know about you, but. I find flow when I create. Flow is that state where time seems to be irrelevant. And oh, look what I've just done. I've just did that. Oh my god, what an idiot. Uh, I might <laughs> probably create a new technique here. Oh gosh. <laughs> In, in, in the activity that you're doing because you're so happy and in your in your in your place but yeah just everything just feels like it's 
who you were meant to be and where you were meant to be and, and how. Uh, uh, Flo's a brilliant state to be in. And uh, yeah, I guess that uh, <laughs> what just happened then was the result of Flo. I was so into everything that I was doing. It became almost instinctual. I'm so used to doing, to doing, to doing this. <laughs> and then, so I think that a bit of a, a bit of this, this nice crackled texture would go amiss. <laughs> I've still got the giggles. Another tag. So that's that one. So that's going to go in the book. I think that blends in quite nicely. And then this one, I'm going to try and pull out some of this colour here. Um, closest I've got in these distressings is this, which is called old paper. And I think. So that's, I like that. Um, put some walnut around the edge just to age it. And then um, I need something flowery. So I've got these, I think these are a, a whole new batch I got. Oh. What have we got here? Bees and flowers and I think I want a bluey colour. So let's have a bit of, of denim. Faded jeans. Faded jeans. Oh, it's got that very annoying line. Done it now with the old blue, but never mind. I quite like it. I quite like it. Just needs it needs a bit of something else. I am going to do some ink splatters on these. So I'm literally just going to get some um, of my ink tense blocks. Um, I'm going to dip my paintbrush in and I'm going to splatter it, but uh, I'm going to do it somewhere else because this isn't the place. I shall be back shortly. I did some splatters. Same colour to both tags. They're going to sit next to each other in the pockets, so you want them to feel part of a cohesive whole. Done a bit of preparation for pieces that we're going to go into these slits here. This is one sheet of uh, cardstock. It's a sort of thick paper, but it's a, it's a little bit flimsy. Um, so what I've done is I've cut it in half, and I've rounded off the edges, ink the sides, and then I'm going to stick on these here on the back, and then I'm going to put uh, a reinforced hole in here. Um, uh, so that then we can put some thing to pull it out of it. Um, but this is very white, so I'm going to distress the backs of these with some ink. We use the um, old paper. in now. There they are. There we 
What I feel now though is I've got this leafy ribbon, so it's only there. It needs to be somewhere else as well. So I'm going to put, I'm going to glue it down here, down the centre here, just again so that the whole piece uh, feels more you know, cohesive. So I'll glue that down in there. And then I do believe that the booklet part of this project is finished. Well, I was just finishing things off and I had a sudden thought that I hadn't put things in behind here. So I made this pretty little tag very, very quickly, quite like that. So that's going into this gap here. Okay, so then there's another gap at the back. So I am going to make another one of these little banding books. And I had this line around. I'm going to stick that onto there. Obviously, cut those off. Look, this is why I never paint my nails. <laughs> Look at the state of them from all this glue. Okay. All matches now. So we will do the obligatory inking. Now we measure. So we know it needs to be approximately. W. Those people that have uh, some uh, Breaking Bad will know what that refers to. I'm going to stick it on there. Cheat. There we go. must apologise, something went slightly wrong at the end of that video because I, it suddenly ended. Anyway, we were almost there. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to crank up the music and I am going to give you the full flip through. Enjoy. Enjoy. 